Hello and welcome to a brand new farming simulator 22 let's play over on Sandy Bay now this game oh this map is mega old um, somebody did convert it over to a farm sim 22 and has basically given me access to it so here we go guys I this has been a map I've wanted to play on this game I've never had chance to play it I only got into farming simulator on uh, on 19 and obviously I didn't get a chance because you know more than there's just so many maps to play on that I just couldn't uh, I just couldn't get around them all in time in the six months before 22 came out but somebody did privately convert this they did send me a copy so that I could uh, use it uh, right we've got a mower guys we've got this little mower here we've got this little window I have manually changed all the equipment um just because at the end of the day i knew some different things uh water tanker over there obviously got a lime fill point there on the map right i have made a point of using this equipment this time guys. now i know there is some new dlc out but when i got all this equipment and moved it all up to the farm it, this the new equipment wasn't how at the time but as you can see we've got a pickup we've got a spreader We've got a slurry spreader. We've got a little machine that drives it. Um, over here, we've got a little mini trailer. Now, you're probably going to see this on a few series coming up because, to be honest, I really like this dinky little trailer. I think that is absolutely fantastic. I don't think we've got anything else in here at the moment. Nope. Um, trying to see what we've got and where I've put stuff, to be honest. There's the repair shop in there. Now, we do have one of the mods that's been converted for my use of 8630. Um, just kind of want to... This is where it's going to let me down now, isn't it? Um, look, error free, guys. 8630 completely and utterly error free in the log. And... Oh. Oh. Just... Oh. I love it. Proper love it. Um... Down there, we've got our feeder. We have the i4 Williams trailer um, by Mac Thor, but I have edited it a little bit just to make it a little bit more for us. Um, I've got no idea what that mark is. I'm going to presume that's water. Uh, let me just double check that one. Yeah, I, don't know. I thought it was water, but I just wanted to double check. Uh, right, I've given us the, um, the John Deere that we had on the old school series just before we ended that one. Never really got a chance to use it. Uh, a little mini spreader for lime and fertilizer. Precision farming is turned off, guys, on this one. Um, JCB Lodor with a decent sized bucket. There's the bill cell point. There's our silo. Um, let's just go down here. A little bit more equipment down here. Like I say, there's the I4 Williams trailer. Um, yeah, I basically took all the the logos off it. Um, just left the I4 Williams on other than that. Just, yeah. Over here, that's not ours. Um, we have the Mark Thor quick wrap baler just for quick wrapping bales. And we've got a tether over here. Now, over here, I do have... I did spawn in just a couple of cows. Just a couple. Literally, just a couple. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, hay fever is currently kicking my ass. Now, we can basically buy um, cows and bring them up this way, but I do want to travel around the map and pick some up. I do believe I've got three... Let me just look on here. I think I've got three cows. Oh, no, I've got six cows. I gave myself six cows. Um, I'll tell you the reason I did it. I did it because I was going to spawn in loads of manure and slurry so we could use... We didn't have to use... Uh, what is it? Um, you know... Uh, be more of an organic farm as you can see there's the cows around here there's a slurry pit over here uh, not 100% sure if the slurry pit animation does work on this I, like I said that was one of the reasons I was going to add slurry in and I've forgotten to do it um, yeah it, it might do I see and then we've got that over there I I just absolutely love this map. Now, this is the map in general. Now, I did give myself fields 31, 32, and 33. Now, they're not very big fields. We do own a little bit of grass around the farm here, if you look. Uh, um, so, we own these bits of grass here. So, that would be this grass field here. 
and a little bit of grass just over the other side of this fence. So we've got some grass cutting to do. Um, this is a multi-fruit map as well, guys. There are a lot of new crops on this map. And, yeah, I can't wait to get stuck in. Obviously, we've got to use some mods to harvest them. But there's the uh, there's the grass work over there. Oh, save point already. I just wanna, I'm just kind of giving you a little tour, guys, of what's what's here before we, we, we crack on, really. Um, so this is field 31. And over here, we have got clover. I tell you what actually let me show you on the map exactly what we've got we can right it's here so you've got all your wheat barley all that all your normal stuff down to poplar and we're going to crop type two we've got rye millet poppy seed mustard seed beans peas lentils carrots onions hops flaxseed great bee apparently alfalfa clover hemp buckwheat chickpea rice lavender beetroot silage sorghum and cuttable hedge now i'm not really sure how much of the new stuff we'll do at the series is kind of just going to be a... Let me see how long people like it. Uh, another standard... This is just a proper standard grass field. The other two are not technically registered as grass fields, so we will have to plough them out and and all that stuff. But for now, you know, we did just get ourselves enough just to start with the cows, basically. And if we go this way, we've got an alfalfa field. So that's kind of what we've... Uh, we've got at the moment guys so hopefully uh, you do enjoy hopefully what we're going to do and where we're going to go now i am thinking here that i really 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 want to add in that slurry and manure that i said i was gonna it's not to try and cheer out i just want to try and make it a little bit more organic but i uh i've forgotten to do it i tell you what i'm gonna do that so give me one second Right, let's go guys. Let's go and have a look in the uh, barn. I have just adjusted the uh, manure and slurry. Well, I say manure and slurry. I can't do the manure because the manure spawns in the barn. So I've given like a load of slurry. And as you can see, look, there's a little bit of manure in there, a little line. Um, it doesn't spawn in like a separate thing to use, you, you know, a heap. But if you look now, we have got slurry and we've got a full tank. You can see the animation works. So, yeah, we've got some fertilizer we can use over on this series. So, that's kind of what I want to do. There's no there's no precision farming, so we're good just to play the game how we want, basically. And I want to try and use some liquid manures and stuff, just to try and get you, you know, just used to using it, things like that. Now, as you can see, we are going to use the Ford truck today. 26 mile an hour. I do love this thing. Um... I've got one issue with this Ford, though. <laughs> the brakes suck on it. Like, proper super suck. Um, I don't know if it's possible to increase braking efficiency on these. Never done anything like that, but, yeah, as you can see. As you, uh, but, yeah, if we, if we connect this up, you see what I mean about the brakes? Like, I'm hardly even pressing that, and it's just like, yeah absolutely insane now we do need to go to the animal dealership and the animal dealership is over here there isn't an icon for it so i think that's something i'll uh speak to the uh the create you know the guy who swapped it over just just because it's just a lot easier to use so we need to go down here by field 28 go around it actually i've never played this map before in my life so and i kind of want to be third person most of the time just because we've got our roleplay series for first person. And I kind of want to give you guys a, a view. And to be honest with you, how nice is that view? Honestly, how nice is that view? Oh, I've also turned the sound off for screenshots. That's nice as well. Yeah, field 28. Oh, maybe we should have given ourselves field 28. And the reason being is it gets access through our land. Uh, maybe it's something we can look at buying sometime soon. But yeah, we've got the uh, Ford 8630. It was an edit on King's Mod, but it was full of errors and warnings and stuff. And yeah, long story short, it's been repaired. Um, I'm looking forward to using. Looking forward to using this. I really am. Now you'll probably think to yourself, "Oh, hang on, Matt, you use this on your." first few episodes of uh old school series you're right i did on the old stream farm um then it was full of errors and things like that so i kind of just wanted to you know get it get it fixed and 
bring it back and have working indicators look look indicators at work amazing oh road works little harm yeah how nice is this truck guys oh this tractor look at it it's so nice dashboard works as well with kilometers just yeah absolutely love it this I, i'm so excited to play this map i really am no oh, circus is in town yeah it was a little picture i put on the other day oh does anyone know this map you know some people are like yeah and then someone spoiled it by actually putting the name of it in the comments so kind of ruined my game <laughs> yeah how nice is this map and yeah i just i can't i just can't wait to get proper stuck in but right now we need a few more cows and that's where we're going oh anyone want some kfc no maybe a bit of weekly shopping over at little right want a texture looking at in the little window which is fine like i said these are just little issues that we'll we, you know we might come across and we'll uh we'll let the guy know who converted it but yeah overall the game the gameplay on the map works so we you know the odd texture update here and there not going to require us a new game save so we we can play this um i didn't realize how far away this uh <laughs> this place was this is quite a long way away quite a long way away now we are going to have to rent quite a bit of equipment in this series um, because the multi-fruit harvesters are stupidly expensive. Oh, I love the little gates that open like that. It's just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, this trailer was one from Mark Thor. He edited it for someone else. Don't really want to name names, just, you know. But it did have a couple of warnings when I... So I just got rid of the... Um, the warnings, basically. Let's open that up. Let's try and do it a little bit... Properly. Um, we need some more... Need some more females. £11,000. We'll get another... Yeah, we'll get another... We'll get another six. Okay. There they all are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looking a little bit crammed in there, but it's fine. Six is the limit or uh, you know i wanted to increase it but it i don't know there are so i've had to just leave it at six but we'll buy the rest normal you know through the menu but i just wanted to make a point of driving around and giving you guys a little bit of a tour of the uh of the map because i say i'm i'm proper stoked i'm super super excited but yeah um found me via facebook because like oh i heard you've been looking for playing this map i've got it and yeah like i say any little bugs i come across um shop windows like the little shop windows for example i'll um we'll make a note and we'll just let him know it could be something really really simple like you just want a texture change or converting or you know what i mean just any of the windows just seem to be a little bit on the skew side of things but it's fine because like i say it, it's still i'm expecting it to still have like the odd update now but the guy is not releasing it um i do believe oxygen david was the original creator of this map he didn't exactly want it releasing but obviously it's a private edit the guy who private edited it knew i wanted a copy for a little let's play so here we are we have a little whoa don't mind me guys it's because i've spent all day trucking today on the wrong side of the road yeah, I've been driving on the right-hand side of the road, which is obviously the wrong side to uh, be driving on. There we go. Trailer indicators are working nicely. Just wanted to double-check them. There's the repair shop at Andy's Autos. For any repairs. We do have a little spot on our... Wow, you, you weren't going to wait, were you? That car was a maniac! Did you see him fly around there? Could have caused an accident. If a child had run across that road, then he'd have never have stopped in time. Oh, house for sale. Right, let's go back up this way. There. Yeah, a little bit of a tour. Um, we've got to go for some other bits and bats at some point. The speed camera does also work as well, guys. So you can get caught speeding around here. 
Oh, sorry, I've got my indicator on there. I've got a mod for auto indicators off, but it never really seems to want to work. Oh, yeah, and there's the uh, fighter jet, guys. But you can hear it. Yeah, the fighter jet is just going over. I say fighter jet. Is it Spitfire? There we go. Let's get back up to the farm. Let's get six more cows in there. Twelve cows should do for now. Yeah, come on. This map is absolutely stunning. There's a plane. This map is absolutely stunning, guys. Now we need to uh, we need to get near that gate. We need to open that gate in there like that. Yeah, we will do a little bit of farming. Like I say, I just want to... It's more like a little guys we're playing this map kind of episode. Do you know what I mean? A little bit of a tour. Gates are open. Oh, the ga oh that's nice. The gates are opening inwards. I wasn't 100% sure which way those gates were going to open. So I wanted to just double check that. But yeah, if anyone does actually know... If you can change the braking intensity of a of a mod, so the brakes on this thing suck. Um, we're gonna go from there. We're gonna go into that. We're gonna go move to husbandry. Yes. So now we've got some heifers at eighteen months old, and we've got some cows at twenty-two months old. But so they'll start producing us some milk because they should have a little bit of feed. But that is our next job, basically. We need to uh, we need to get on with some feed. Look at this, guys! Absolutely love this trailer. Yeah, you're gonna see this in the uh, in the role play series as well. Um, just at the end of the day, I just need to. Uh, well, I'll use it on this. Make sure there's no no issues with it. Things like that. Same with my other i4 Williams trailer that I've got. Um, there's no there's no errors on that. So. You've seen me drive the little Ford for now, and we've got to basically cut a little bit of grass. We don't have a very big mower, though. Um, I didn't want to start with loads of equipment, either, if that makes sense. I thought, well, no, if we, if we start with some small equipment, it gives us something to work towards, and basically every, everything like that, so... But yeah, I've never really done any other crop. You know, like the clovers and stuff. I'm going to just presume you can use a normal mower. I never I never once thought to check that. We can just use a normal mower for clover, can't we? I've never I've never done that. So this is a bit of a learning experience for me. Um, oh, all the new DLC is out and I want to use it. Let's get in there. Lovely. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I I do have um, manual attach installed, guys, but I'm not really using it on this series. Just kind of wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up for that. So let's go and do an actual field first. Make sure what I make sure what I'm doing is actually right. But yeah, I've never used the multi fruits before. Um, so this is a you know another learning experience for me. Looking for oh, guys, you, you genuinely don't realise how happy I am to be playing this map. Like a child in a sweet shop or a child on Christmas morning. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Just make sure that is looking there. Look at oh, look at the textures. Oh, sorry guys, I'm, I'm just loving it. I'm, I'm proper, proper, proper ecstatic about this map. Uh, but hopefully, you know, because it's not like a public release, you know, if you're a big fan of Sandy Bear, hope to see some people commenting on the series. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm not playing it just to try and get extra views. Well, I am. Who, who doesn't want extra views? But like I say, it's not my map to release, and I know... Like I said, I believe it's Oxygen Day. We didn't want it, like, publicly releasing. So it is just a private edit someone's done for us. So I am massively um, grateful for having a, a copy of it. 
We don't have a very big colour thing, do we? You know, like the purple for the clover? It seems to uh, be a very small circle. Is there a way of increasing that? I've got a 4080, so you know what I mean? It's not like I'm short on GPU power. Yeah, look at this, guys. Absolutely stunning. This map is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, um, we're definitely going to need a bigger mower sooner rather than later. I will get the edges as well, guys. I'm just trying to separate the, um, the clover from the grass. So what we'll do is we'll probably leave the mower in the field. We'll bring the windrow over. We'll get the windrow, you know, we'll get it all tidied up a little bit. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll go around the edge and we'll get some extra grass. Um, but yeah, I, I don't even know what I can silage out of this and what I can't silage out of it. I've got literally no idea. Can I make clover silage? Is this just... Can I use this for feed? I've literally got no idea. So we're probably going to end up just harvest, you know, mowing a couple of fields today. Gives everybody a chance to drop a couple of comments. Um, but yeah... Treat me like an idiot when it comes to new crop types. Um, I know onions and carrots can be done with a special harvest of blah, 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 blah. But what can I feed to the cows? Can I make clover hay? I, I've got no idea. Now, I can look in the menus. But I would rather try and get more people involved in the series, if it's possible. You know, like the Farm Assistant Roleplay series. I'm, I'm going to keep plugging that a little bit, guys. Because I'm trying to put a lot of effort into that. I'm trying to, get, trying to grow that up really well um, but again new experience so it might not be perfect but we're getting there we're getting there yeah look at oh i'm so excited i'm mm, do i i'm so excited <laughs> a little caravan park as well look at it yeah a little caravan park little butlins <laughs> Uh, probably, probably is. Butlins is a bit of a dive like that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, like I say, I've got no idea about alfalfas and, you know, and all this new crop. So anyone's got any tips, tricks, let me know, you know, down in the comments below. I'll at least acknowledge I've read your, your comments with a, a little, uh, a little hearty reply. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, we definitely need a bigger mower, guys. Definitely need a bigger mower. I don't think any of the new mowers in the hay kit are, uh, are actually bigger. Yeah, we'll try and... Uh, I think we'll try and TED this next, just out of curiosity. Like I say, it's a bit of a learning experience. Because I know with the other grass, I can turn that into silage. You know, just plain, standard, boring old grass. But I just love the colours of this lovely there we go look nearly done nearly done but yeah hopefully you guys and you know i'm gonna say it probably a couple of times but hopefully you guys are uh, looking forward to uh, a series on sandy bay i i don't know how long a series it's gonna be guys um i don't know how long it'll be how long just in general you know what i mean it, It'll, be, it'll go for as long as I'm enjoying to play it, that's for sure. And I don't know, I've got a feeling it's going to be a while. I've, I've, I've waited over a year for this map to come out. It was one I hoped to get converted, but never did. Until someone else did it. Um, but yeah. Proper stoked about playing Sandy Bay. Sandy Bay, I, I keep wanting to call it Sandy Bay 19, but obviously now it's just Sandy Bay 22, because obviously after the game version. So I'm just going to call it Sandy Bay. Sandy Bay. But I will have to name the uh, the title of the video Sandy Bay 22. Because otherwise people might think I'm playing Ham Sim 19. Or 17 or 15 or what, whatever the number. <laughs> whenever this gate, whenever this map first came out. I've got no idea when it first came out. I know the guy who edited it has spent a lot of time doing, you know, bits and bats and tweaking things here and there and i am personally ever so grateful now i am i'm not going to be changing any of the field sizes 
kind of going to learn our lesson from course play on like Attingham Park and making fields bigger and better. We're just going to leave the fields default. Try and you know use course play at some point, basically. That's what I'd like to try anyway. Um, I've got a windrow, and I am thinking of just swapping it for one of the new ones. There's one of the new ones I'd really like to try on the DLC that came out yesterday. Well, it came out yesterday for me. Oh, I don't want to do that. It came out yesterday for me in the DLC when, you know, for recording. I'm recording this on Wednesday. And you guys will get this Thursday. I'm going to look at maybe two times a week, Thursday, Friday. That gives me Friday afternoon, Saturday, Sunday to try and produce the roleplay series because they do take quite a bit of time to... Uh, I might actually record this Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, because I, I do like to play Apex on a weekend. Oh, so I've still got my trucking video. So I'll, I'll figure it out, but these will come out on a Thursday and a Friday. Um, but I am recording Wednesday, Thursday this week because I've not long got my hands on the map. So, and I wanted to bring in some different equipment and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I am a really, really big fan of this. I have got something I wouldn't mind having a chat to the guy who created it. Now, I, like I said, I don't want to say any names or anything like that because I don't know if he wants me to say it. If he does, I'll happily name him in the next episode. But, you know, there's a windmill just there. I think it'd be really nice if that was a windmill grain mod. You know, there's a, you know there's a windmill mod for grain production, you know, into flour, flour mill. That'd be a really nice touch to change that for a mod. Now, that's just a personal thing. And it might be something I might just change myself. Um, but if you're going to have a windmill on the farm, uh, on the map, why not maybe make it the windmill grain production? That way you... Because I don't think this has got any productions on the map. So if it doesn't, that would be a really good place to maybe put the windmill grain production. You know what I mean? And you're only swapping a windmill for a windmill. Just, just, you know, just an idea. Just, just ideas. But yeah, oh, I'm, so, I'm super stoked to be playing this. I know this field's taking a long time to mow, guys. I didn't mind on this field taking quite so long to mow. Um, yeah, it is, uh, it's taking quite a while to mow. It's bigger than you think, this field. This field does not look this big. doesn't look this big when you're like oh that looks a small field and then you get in it and you're like okay now i know a wider mower would have been a lot better but like i said i want to be able to build up to bigger equipment we're not selling any slurry we're not going to sell any manure i might change the manure heap though um just to one where it spawns outside i don't know if it will though um if not i might have to we do have a telehandle with a bucket but the book it's not very big so we might have to swap that for a wheel loader like, cuz i don't want to be i don't want to be doing millions and millions of uh, trips of manure you know taking it out of the barn i do like it when it just kind of spawns somewhere else i don't mind manually loading manure anymore i'm getting better with the front loading work but yeah i do want to bring productions in on this map um, it's not a massive map and I might have to bring in smaller, cheaper productions. You know, like the potato production on Bally Spring, for example? I might bring, like, those ones in, but I will, ch you know, I'll, I'll take more money out from bringing the buildings in. Nothing is going on the farm either, so we'd have to maybe build a production... A production area. Right. Okay, let me... I've completely messed that up. And I'm not going to get out of there, so let me just go... Put that there. I tell you what, there's a bald patch of grass there. I don't know what that's from, but there's a bald patch of grass. I think what we'll do, we'll put that in there like that. Actually, I tell you what we're going to do. Let's get in the Ford. Let's get in the Ford. And let's see what we can do for Tedding. Yeah, workers can be used on this series. Uh, contracts. We're just going to basically do a... An everyday, an everyday let's play. Um, did I just drive past the tether by any chance? Yeah, you'll have to forgive me. I did park things away. 
and I can't remember where I park things. Um, I know where the tether is. The tether's down there in that shed. Yeah, like I say, I'm just uh, still getting used to where everything is, even though I put it on the map. Just want to make sure the fuel point works. God, there's no brakes on this Ford. There you go. So it does work fuel on this map. Like I say, it's just something to test. We can have chickens there. We can have sheep over there. So we'll bring in some sheep. This bit of grass here, though, we I think we will change that into an actual field. Um, we'll see how... We'll see how we go. I don't think, actually, we have a plow. Um, I normally use a lizard plow. Just because, you know, it's great. Let's have a look at some equipment. I just want to have a look at some stuff, guys. Um, we've got a tether. 8.7 meters. Do you reckon we should sell that? And bring in the the new... Because like I said, I'm trying to bring in some of the new DLC. It only came out for us yesterday. You know, 8.2. We've got 8.0. Oh, so this is... No, this one is slightly bigger. I'll, I'll bring that in over on the... Uh, on another series then. We might we might we might get some free rental days for the new equipment. Might do it that way. Free rental days. There's our weight. There's a bunker. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I really am. I know I've said that a few times. You genuinely don't get how excited I am to play this map. I am super super excited to play this map. I don't even know if I can ted this. I genuinely have got no idea if this is even tedable. I've got no idea. Um, something's edible. Right, okay. It would appear the fields don't quite line up. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We can, what we can just mention. If we look here, we've got... It says clover, and that's clover. They're, they're different. You know what I mean? But it's fine, it's fine. It's something we can mention. It's a work in progress still, but I wanted to get in on this. And I wanted to play it. Um, I'll tell you what I'll probably do, actually. Um, just going to take a screenshot of that. Just to, just to send the guy, just so he knows. But as you can see... Oh, I'm, I'm just super excited to play this. I just am super excited. So the lighter stuff is the clover, which is fine. How are we doing behind us? Yeah, so it's yeah, it's just ever so slightly out is the field size. But I I don't I don't care. I I I don't care. I'm I'm playing Sandy Bay 22. These these things will get tweaked, simple as. And if it needs a new save play, we'll just swap it over. Do you know what I mean? It's not the end of the world. I'm just super stoked to be playing it. I believe as of right now, no one else is playing it, so... I'm just grateful to be playing it. That's the main thing. Oh, the Ford is fantastic. I love this Ford. Yeah, you can kind of see the edge of the field, can't you? With this, like, gap where I'm kind of driving now. That seems to be, like, the edge of the field. Like I say, it's it's no it's no issue. We've just got to just got to realise that the fields are slightly smaller than the little PDA is making out, but it's fine. We can always maybe make the fields the size. I know I said I weren't going to make fields bigger and smaller, but we can always plow them out to be the size of the PDA. There, you know what I mean? It's no drama. Especially when it says um, you know if the field needs plowing next time, for example, we can soon. We can soon just quickly plow something out. Oh, look at it. It's just nice to be doing new crops. Um, but yeah, onions, potatoes, uh, onions, carrots, for example. Um, I'd love to see onions and carrots on Bally Springs. 
Now, I know there is a mod out there that lets you change and adds in fruit crops and things like that. But the problem is with Bally Springs is the map is still, in my eyes, too... It, it's getting better, but there's too many updates where you need a new save. Now, if you need a new save and you download it, it means you've got to edit all the XML files again, blah, 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 blah. This is already built into the map. You know what I mean? It's... If there's a map update and you don't need a new game save, I'm not going to lose everything. If I do need a new save play, all right, I'll have to transfer, like, the placeable files, the vehicle files, blah, 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 things like that. But overall, it's... Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a couple of little issues. A couple of little what I call bugs. But I bet you if I message the guy as soon as I finish recording this, he'll, he'll be like, look, no worries, I'll get straight on it. And he will. He's a really, really good guy. He's the guy who's helped me fix some mods as well, including the Ford that I'm driving. So, like I say, I don't know if he wants me to say his name. I don't know if he's trying to just, you know, he does release other old school maps that he's converted, but he only releases them if he gets permission. But he did, he did give me access to this so I could do a little series on it. But I don't know how long this series will be. It might be a little series. It might be a big series. We'll see how the uh, we'll see how the likes and the views go, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there basically, and then we'll try and you know maybe buy more land and yeah, super super stoked, just super super stoked to be playing this. I know I keep saying it, but you don't realise just how super stoked I am to be playing this map. Proper excited. And like I say, yeah, the field boundaries are, seem to be a bit off. There's the shops at the K uh, at the Lidl and some of the other buildings need fixing. And I don't I don't care. They, they will be fixed. You know what I mean? I know they'll be fixed. And if you didn't fix them, it ain't going to affect me playing the game. I can soon plow the field out to fit. And the window textures, it's not the end of the world. It's not very often we're going to go down that way anyway. So that's how I look at it. Right, that is this field all win uh, all tedded. So I think in the next episode, I might get on with the grass field. You know, just a standard grass field next to us next time. Might get course play on that so that we can do a bit of work um, to this. But I tell you one thing, I'm gonna do. Um, I am going to swap the windrow free of charge. I want to get one of the new DLC ones. Um, but I think it'll fit this series really, really well. To be honest. You can swap left, you can swap right, you can swap middle. Um, yeah, and it's just a new piece of DLC. So hopefully nobody nobody minds me swapping for a new piece of DLC. But there we go. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, I tell you what, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that. There. I'm gonna use the Ford. To finish this field and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the John Deere in that grass field which is field 32 but I'm gonna go and put the John Deere over there so I remember what I'm doing in the next episode and then we'll create a course play course for said field in the next episode and we'll we'll let him do we'll let him do his business um, and we'll we'll continue with the uh, the clover field so yeah we can make clover here we can make clover can we make clover silage again i don't know if anyone does know any of the answers to these questions let me know in the description below um you know in the comments sorry description i i genuinely don't know i'm i'm a new crop noob that's for sure We'll leave that there i think so that's ready for the next episode so hopefully guys you have enjoyed the first episode of sandy bay um i'm gonna leave the time on three as well by the way guys so whatever we get done in a day is you know we'll be in you know just just gonna leave it on three if we've got time to do bits and bats we've got time and if we don't we don't um as you can see one head field done one down there we'll use that normal grass for silage and uh, we'll get it. We, we could bail it and wrap it, or we could 
use this and use the bunker. There you go, something else. Do we use the um, do we use the bunker and use that little car thing, or do we wrap do we wrap the bales? If we wrap the bales, we'll probably still put the bales in here. We're gonna put a store store the hay and the straw and the grass bales down there. A couple of extra bunkers down there. We've got some storage there as well. So we've got plenty of storage. We've got plenty of things we can do. Plenty of ideas. Plenty of land to get on with. Um, but yeah, if anyone's got any tips and tricks for the new for the new crops, let me know down below, and I will um, I'll read all your comments. I'll take it all on board, and I can uh, and I can basically learn this map even better still. There's a little plane up there. It's nice to see planes and hot air balloons. You know what I mean? It's really nice. Some lovely cows in the grass. But yeah. Um, for now, oh, don't, I, I just want to carry on playing, that's the problem. But for now, I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys on this series and in the comments. And until the next time, guys, bye for now.